Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can open an account on Tradersway, how you can download and install the scanner for Tradersway live accounts. To open an account, you have to go to tradersway.com. If you're already here, you have to go to private office. Okay. Select open an account now. another window will show up. All you have to do is to put all the needed information such as your name, your last, your first name, last name, email and so on. Scroll down at the bottom choose a type of account. Make sure the tab or the button is set to live account and the option is set to mt4.ecn for our traders way scanner. And then put a check mark on I declare and go to open an account now. As soon as you click on open an account now it will show up another window for your login details and it will also send you an email about your login information so it will it will serve as a copy of your details or your login information. So that's how you can open your lab account and right now I will be um, showing you how you can download your MT4 go back to tradersway.com select trading platforms and go to MetaTrader 4 if you click on that this will show up MetaTrader 4 you have to scroll down you see a green button here it says download MT4 you need to download that and it will just take few seconds to be downloaded you will see it right here if you're using Google Chrome open it Okay. So after you opened what you have downloaded for your MetaTrader 4, it will show up another screen again for the installation for the setup now. So this is the setup wizard for the Trader's Way. Just click on next, check the box for I agree. Okay, next. It will give you that window, that's fine. still loading okay and then you'll be able to hit finish when you hit finish it will take a minute or two to pop up the scanner so it's loading up this um, website. So as you can see, the scanner hasn't popped up yet. Okay. After you click on finish, after everything has been loaded successfully, you will get this window right here. Open an account. And of course, we have a live account with uh, Traders Way. We need to select Traders Way Live. Hit next. And put your login for the Traders Way Live account. You can check your email, copy and paste your login and your password, and then hit finish. Alright, so after you put your login with your live account on Tradersway, these four windows will open up. You can close all of these three windows right here and just leave one extra window and maximize it. We have to this time we need to download the harmonic scanner, which is what we need to where we need to put our username and password for your iMarkets Live. To do that you have to go to HTTP colon slash slash 104.219.53.206 that's the link that's here below so yeah um, this is the link where you can download the harmonic scanner after you hit enter 
it will download and show up right here on your downloads bar. All you have to do is right click on this one right here, go to show in folder, it will go directly to your downloads folder. So you, you're now seeing the downloads window. Right click on the XUP, this is the file that we have downloaded. You need to right click and do a copy. After you right click, you clicked on copy. You have to close this window now. Go back to the Trader's Way um, scanner or MT4. Go to File. Go to Open Data Folder. What we need to do is to paste that file to our Experts Advisors tab or folder. Go to MQL4 after you open that and go to Experts. So all you have, if you're already here, what you need to do is do a right click on your mouse or your cursor and then you go to Paste. As soon as you see the file there, you can already exit out of this, go back in here. So if you click on the Expert Advisors, it's not shown up there yet. What you need to do is right click, go to Refresh, and it will show up. Just double click the XUP, you will get another window like this. Go directly to Inputs, and this is where you have to put your username and password with iMarketsLive. After putting your username and password, you will get this box, this pop-up message. You don't have to worry about this, although it says fatal error. Just click OK, go to Tools, straight to Options. Before we do something, we need to do a little bit of adjustment. So make sure the max bars in history under Charts is set to 5,000 and 5,000 on the other option as well. Before you click OK, we need to go to Expert Advisors, put a check mark on the last two box, and um, remember we keep getting like numbers that we need to type here. That's the same link except the extension that we have where we downloaded the um, harmonic scanner. So it's 104.219.53.20. Six and a forward slash. Don't forget the forward slash at the last part and hit OK. As soon as you hit OK, it will um, like think for a few seconds and then the patterns should already show up. So while waiting for that, okay. And there it is. After you hit, I mean, after you refresh the page, it will generate all the available patterns on your scanner. If you don't see all of this list, what you need to do is to right click on the market watch on the left side. Go to market watch, right click it, go to show all to see all the available patterns. If you want to switch in between different patterns, all you have to do is just double click on each one of them. See how they um, change. Okay. So now I'm going to be showing you how you can configure your email settings. Okay. For your email settings, what you have to do is first do a right click on the charts, go to Expert Advisors go directly to properties scroll down send email set that to, to true okay and in reference to our CEO Christopher Terry's um, video he recommended this M5 and M15 to be turned off so just double click and go to false and click on OK Okay, so for so after we enabled the um, email feature on the like for the new patterns, they will be sent to your email. They they are called alerts. Um, go to Tools tab one more time. Go to Options. Go now to Email. Don't forget to check the box for Enable. 
for the SMTP server, it depends on which server um, you will be using or your email server. If you have Gmail, you can use Gmail, uh, smtp.gmail.com. Or if you have Yahoo, you can use smtp.mail.yahoo.com. I will be sharing the link where you can see all of the available, uh, all of the recommended servers for which type of um, server or email you want to use for. So um, if you're, if you will be using um, Gmail, like what I said, you can uh, you can use SMTP dot gmail dot com and um, the SMTP login that is basically your email address so for your email address um, you can put your first name whatever email address you have and then for SMTP password this is your email um, email address password the from and to should still be your from and to should be the same one as your SMTP login. So let's say if your email address is at johnsmith at gmail.com, that should be the same with all of your from and to. And then, of course, your SMTP uh, password. So after, after that, you can hit test or hit OK first, whichever you want. Um, then come back here on this window. but for me, I would say click on OK first so the settings, the MT4 would remember your settings and then come back here to do the test. When you hit test, you will know if the email, sex, uh, I mean, that email, that test mail went successfully to your inbox. You can go here on journal, on journal tab. It will show up here on the last option. It says um, mess, test mail has been successfully sent otherwise if it's not successful it will say test message test mail failed you'll see that right here so just make sure that you have all the settings configured properly and if you have any questions you can send us email to support at imarketslive.com thank you